Hi, this is Hector, and today we're going to draw a cat in Procreate. In fact, we're going to draw this guy. So let's get started with the canvas settings. Now, this canvas size it is a, a 8x8x300 DPI. So let's start with that. Then the next thing we're going to do is, under the wrench icon, in Canvas, we're going to go to Drawing Guide. So tap that. There we go. Now, these squares, they're a little too small for me. They're kind of unusable, but I know some people like them that way. But I'm going to go to Edit Drawing Guide. Tap there. And I can slide around to where I think this would work really well. But it's just so much easier just to see where it says 243. I'm going to tap there. I'm just going to type 245 and then hit Done. So that works for me. Uh, you can play with the opacity, the thickness, all that stuff, even the color of the guides. So I'm happy with this, so I'm just going to tap done. There we go. Let's go with brush. Tap on the brush. Under sketching, go to 6B. So sketching, 6B. Size, 51%. That works for me. Opacity, 100%. Okay, tap anywhere a couple times. Everything goes away. Now, I'm going to identify pretty much dead center, which I think is about right here. And my cat is going to be basically a triangle like this. And I'm going to have an arm that's going to be something like this. Now, my hind legs are going to be back here. And maybe do a square like this. So we'll just go with that. So we're going to have kind of a rectangle here, square back there, and then here is going to be a square that's going to be tilted, something like that. All right, that looks like a cat, don't it? Well, next thing I'm going to do is go to the wrench icon, tap that once, and I'm going to turn on my reference. Boom. That would slide this over here. Going to make this slightly smaller, somewhere around there. That way I have a second person perspective of what I'm doing. Okay, so now let's start shaping the shapes. Before I do that, as long as you have your brush selected, tap on your eraser for about a second, tap it, and whatever brush you had here is now here. Not necessarily the settings, but at least the brush is there. So we're going to go with the eraser here, brush is there, and we're going to start filling in. So first thing I'm going to do is establish the head. So we have our ear, which is going to be here. <laughs> My ear is here. <laughs> Another one's going to be about right there. And then I make the connection there. A little bit of a point there. And right about here, drawing a line about right there. That's where the eyes are going to go. So let's do the T. The nose is going to be here and the eyes are going to be here. So somewhere there. Now we can play with this somewhere down the road, but at least for right now, we're just kind of setting the boundaries. So there and the little ripple back here and right here is his back like that. The arms are interesting because the arms look like they're just barely hanging on. So we'll go there. And we're going to have white tips on the legs. Like that. This is just going to be flat. And it's going to have a little bit of coloring right there. And it's going to continue there. And it's going to go into the legs. Now the legs are going to go like this. Almost like a, almost like a U, like that. And then his final paw is going to be right here. Like that. Let's double tap for the eraser. Just remove this. We don't need this anymore. And while we're at it, we can probably remove this line 
and maybe we can remove some of the lines that are here because we won't need those anymore okay let's do something like this and you can always look at this as a reference to what you're doing and i use my eraser as a pretty much like a sketching brush let's go somewhere there and now we can do the tail so double tap to get your brush and now now we're going to draw in a tail and it's barely hanging on to had a tough night the other night so here we go get our brush again there's that and we'll give it a tip like that and we'll do the same thing for the back paw and if we want to we can go ahead and add some lines to it stripes i should say do some stripes and they just get longer as farther back you go the longer they get so that's good and we'll get some for the front let's just shape it just a little better double tap for the eraser and start removing some lines that we don't need like that let's add some more stripes in the front There we go. Double tap for the eraser and just take away what we don't need. There we go. So there you go. I had a tough night. We can see it. We can feel it. By drawing this, I'm already tired. And there we go. Let's finish up the tummy which is going to be about right here. Like that. Double tap. And start removing some of the lines. Okay. Let's go with something like that. Tough day. Tough day at the ranch. Little stripes back here as well. And we're good. All right. That looks like this cat had a whole lot of fun. Now we can ink this and make it cartoon style, or we can keep playing with the sketch and make a sketch drawing. So what would you like to have done? Kept sketching it and then filling it in or inking it? Since this isn't a live program, <laughs> we're going to ink it. <laughs> but you tell me next time what it is you like to do. Do sketch drawings or go ahead and just start inking it in okay so our next move is going to be we're going to go up to the layers icon tap that one time hit the plus sign once there we go we have a new layer now we're going to drag this underneath layer one now when i do that and that's by tap hold and drag you see that blue border whatever you do don't let go because if you do it creates a new group and we don't want to do that. Not yet. So let's go ahead and just do a two finger tap. There we go. We're starting from where we left off. Now we're going to tap, hold, and we're going to bring it down. We're going to ignore this. We're going to ignore that border and we're going to go underneath it and drop just like that. Now go back to layer one. See the N? Tap that once. That means normal. And what we want to do what we want to do is we want to make it a multiply layer. There we go. Maximum opacity. That's where we're at. Well, we want to be somewhere in the 20 range. 21's fine. You see how it faded? So tap anywhere. That collapses. Tap on layer two. Because now we're ready to ink. But let's get a brush first. Let's go to our brush. And once we go there, we're going to go into inking. Ah. And we're going to go to Studio Pen. 
from studio pen we're gonna want size of let's go with 15 15 is fine opacity 100% so opacity 100% let's go back and tap anywhere and everything goes away so let's go ahead and start inking now keep in mind that a studio pen is pressure sensitive so light pressure very thin line keep adding the pressure the line gets thicker so we can use that to our advantage in fact when you're first starting off if you have some kind of a light source let's say this we have a lamp right here and that's our light really what we want to do we want our outline to represent our light and let me show you what i mean if we go no pressure like this that's fine and we do it one more time no pressure a little bit of pressure so this would show that this is our highlights right here and this that is our shadow kind of makes sense right when you look at it you know that our lights going here and yeah makes sense so let's do that let's go light pressure represents highlights and a little bit of pressure represents shadow so the other thing i wanted to show you is that i can move this around anywhere and because i do i don't have to adjust to my canvas my canvas adjusts to me because everything i'm doing i can see there all right before we get started uh, our brush is selected and our brush is a studio pen but if i go to my eraser my eraser is a 6b pencil so if i highlight my brush and I tap and hold my eraser it changes to studio pen so we're ready to go so let's go ahead and start light pressure this a little heavy this a little heavy this this and like And we're going to go like this. Make sure you close your lines. That way we can color drop later. There we go. Like that. And this. A bit of that. That. Go. Double tap, get my eraser, make sure that I have okay. So now we're gonna go up on this side, go like this, and you can practice your movement. Now I'm using a glove, and so what some people do is they'll just use like their sleeve and they'll use that. So whatever works best for you. And I'm going from here to there. So A to B. There we go. And now we can do some stripes as well. Like that. Let's get the leg going. This, foot, this. That's gonna be back foot tummy right there close that up and now let's go ahead and finish up the tail make sure we have our brush selected like this like this a little heavy there that and then we're going to do some stripes there And there we go. All right, so that we got that going. Now let's go ahead and remove the light. We don't need that anymore. So let's go to the next step, color fill. Let's go to the layers icon, tap that one, one time, hit the plus sign, uh, turn off layer one. Don't need that one anymore, tap. Now let's go to layer two, tap it to activate it. Now tap one more time to get the menu now choose reference now reference layer well that's interesting because 
it allows us to do a color drop on a different layer. As long as there's no gaps, you're good to go. And yes, I do have a video on that. Tap there. Go back to layer three. There we go. Now let's choose some color. And let's choose something kind of orangey. Yeah, that's good right there. Let's just tap anywhere, that'll go away. And all we're gonna do is just gonna drag and drop. Gonna make sure you are on layer three. All right, we're going to tap, drag and drop. Now see where it says continue filling? Tap that one time. Now it says color drop. Now we can just tap here, get that going. And I think that's everything that needs to be orange. Now tap on color once more. And now we're gonna go maybe a little darker, maybe around there. Now if I tap and hold, that's our reticle. Color on the left is color that was already chosen. Color on the right is what we're choosing now. So it gives us an idea of how dark it would be. If we want to make the stripes dark, if we want to make them lighter, we can go here, but we're going to go a little on the dark side. So maybe something like this. Okay, so now we're going to drag and drop, right? Good. Drop in here. We could do that. See, this doesn't work. It's because we have color drop open. All we gotta do is just tap, tap, tap. Make this a little larger. Tap, tap, tap. And this one too. Tap, tap, tap. Once again, the canvas is adjusting to us. We're not adjusting to the canvas, but we can see what we're doing right there. And let's go with maybe some pink. Uh, let's go here and here. And you can kind of see what our color is going to be. So that's good. Maybe about right there. Once again, we don't have to drag and drop. Color drop is open. All we have to do is tap and tap. Let's go with white over here. So we go back to color. We go to white. Maybe a little off white. Maybe something like that. We can go ahead and just tap. And tap, tap, tap. And that one, I think we have one more right here. There we go. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start with our shadowing. We're going to go up to the top where the layer icon's at. Tap that once. And we're going to duplicate layer three. So we're going to swipe to the left, duplicate. And this bottom one, we can just go ahead and just turn it off. There we go. So we only have one of the layer threes open. So we'll go up to selection, tap that once, and make sure that nothing is selected. If it was, it would look like this. It would be a blue. Uh, tap it off. That can be on, that's fine. Make sure freehand is chosen. And all we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go if, there was a shadow, it would be right here. So maybe something like this. Tap is closed. And we're gonna go up to the top where the wand is, tap that once, go to Hue Saturation Brightness or HSB. And we're gonna go to the left like so. Now, did you notice that it's kind of sharp? Well, we can get rid of that. Let me show you how. Let's go back to the S, tap it once, and we're gonna do two finger tap. There we go. Go back to the S, deactivates, S activates. Now under freehand, we're gonna go ahead and start drawing in where we think our shadows would be. So let's say it's there, tap. Now we go to feather, tap that once. And let's go maybe 15%, something like that. Go to the adjustments icon under HSB, tap there. And now we're gonna go to a little bit on the dark side, not that much. Keep your eye there. So that looks pretty good. Too much is that. 
nothing is at. So we're going to be somewhere around there. So that looks pretty good. Now let's go back to selection icon, tap it once, deactivates, tap it one more time, activates, still under freehand. Now we're going to do, if we were a highlight, where would we be? Well, we probably here, here, there, there, and there. Let's go with that, tap there. Go to the adjustments icon, HSB, and now we're going to go the other way. So maybe there. But we did the same thing again. We didn't use our feathering. So let's go ahead and tap the S to deactivate. We can go ahead and tap, double tap to remove our selection. Tap it once again. Tap once again to activate. Under freehand, we would go here, here, like that. Just make a random sort of selection. That works. Now feather. Feather amount, let's go with maybe 11%. Adjustment, there. HSB, there we go. And now very lightly to the right. And you can start seeing it come in. All the way would be like that, that's way too much, but just a very little. Little goes a long way. Perfect, that's good. Tap the S to go back to normal. And now we can go ahead and start doing some isolated selections. So we might want to go a little darker on some of these. So I'm going to go selection tool, freehand. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to add one more. So the next one's going to probably be here. There we go. Another one about right there. Another one right there. The one maybe here. Another one here. And maybe something here. Oops. I didn't close that one. Like that. And maybe one right there. Maybe that one about right there. One more. Okay, feathering. Once again, do something like there. Adjustments. HSB and make this just a little darker. There we go. Tap and you get the gist of it. You can just go ahead and just keep going on and on and on. In fact, if we were to go to the layers icon one more time and hit the plus sign, and now we're going to tap layer five once and go into clipping mask and Say we stayed with this color, this dark color. Let's go maybe something like that. And we go to brush and airbrushing, soft brush. We're going to choose maybe a 2%. This will be somewhere in the 51%. That's fine. And now we can go ahead and start painting in some of it over here. Now, it may not be dark enough. It may not be. So we may have to go in here and tap and go just a little darker like that. And here you know, we can just start painting just a little bit like that. Make this just a little larger, maybe at 4%. And all we're going to do is just go like this. And perhaps go a little lighter. Tap here. And now this time go maybe around here. That. Maybe something that that light. We just go up to the top. That. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. Just enough. 
And really what I'm doing at this point is I'm just finding places that could add just a little bit of light. Go ahead and go one more to the dark side. Like this. And maybe a little bit on the stripes. Okay. A little goes a long way. So there we go. So that's for shaping my face. And we're going to be doing something like that. Go back to the wrench icon, tap there, remove the reference, go back to the wrench icon and remove the drawing guide. And we're there. And if we wanted to have any kind of a background, we can, we can go tap here and under reference, we can add another layer, tap there. And we can go tap and drag to the bottom of layer two. We can go back to our selection tool, which is up here, tap there. And this time rectangle right there. And we can just draw a rectangle from here to here. That looks okay. Now we're gonna go to kind of a darker color, be somewhere around there. Could be anything. Dealer's choice. Go to feather. And maybe about a five is good. And go ahead and tap on, oops, feather. And now we can go ahead and just drag it over if we want, like that. And then if we think it's too much, we can tap on the end and then just, just dial it back a little bit. Maybe it's something like this. Okay. That could be our alley cat having a great time. And probably about the last thing that I would do is go to layers icon and probably add another layer between two and six. There we go. I'm going to keep this color. My brush, I'm going to keep the soft brush. The size, I'm going to go maybe 4%. Opacity, I'm going to keep it at 51%. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and then just add a little shadow. Like that. Something like that. And then if I think it's too much, I can go ahead and dial that back. All right, we're just about done. I just want to just fix that notch, the one where the tail's at, that one right there. Now, the easiest way to do it is going up to the transformation tool up at the top. Just go ahead and just tap on the arrow. Now choose layer six. Now go back to the arrow icon, freeform, and just raise it up. Just move it up. Go back to selection. We're gonna draw a rectangle because rectangle selected and the eraser tool and just start erasing away. Tap on the arrow one more time, slide it down and that's it. We're done with that. Right, you just go up to the top, tap on the arrow icon, that goes away and I guess we're done. So if you have a suggestion for the next one, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked it, please like and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Gotta go. Bye.